Good morning, chess players. This year, I'm taking part in the Chesscom Daily Chess Championship with 16,000 participants. In the third round, I played 22 games, and in this video, I would like to share with you key moments of this round. I will start with my best game in this edition. I had to win this game to advance to the next final round. Then we will solve some puzzles that happened to me during this round. So let's focus on the chessboard, because this game is full of tactics. Try to solve short puzzle, just to warm up. White to move, mate in three. I'm waiting some seconds. Good, during the game I played knight g6 and my opponent resigned due to h take knights, queen h3 and checkmate. Let's begin the game. I started with d4 as usual, my opponent replied d5, c4, c6, so slav defense, knight f3, knight f6, 3. Bishop d4. Of course, here e6 is the most popular, but I'm not going to spend too much time analyzing the opening because the second part of the game is definitely much more interesting. Moreover, daily chess is something like correspondence chess in the old days. So here you can also use opening book in traditional or digital version. And it's generally accessible from Chesscom application. So let's go through the opening quite quickly. I played h3, 4, h4, one takes c4, knight takes c4, h5, g5, knight d5, we change bishops. And here, personally, I don't like this knight a6 move. I believe in Slav defense, uh, knight destination is on d7. So maybe in the beginning, bishop c7, queen a7, and then uh, knight d7. But we can check it in the opening books. Okay, no games. So some move backwards, still no games, a single. Yes, now we have theory. So as I said, knight d7 is much more practical. Okay, so we have this knight on a6 and now there are two treats related to this move. The first is bishop b4, attacking the queen, and the second after, for example, e4, knight takes c3, and I cannot take with the queen because bishop b4. Okay, but simple a3, uh, just eliminate both these streets. So I played this, queen a7, and now, now it's possible to play e4. To take the center, knight c3. Now it's time to take first big decision. Should I take this knight with queen or with pawn? To answer this question, let's decide what to do with my king. Should I castle to king side? of course not now, or to the queen side. I don't like uh, king side because here uh, my king won't be safe. Those pawns should be there to protect my king. So queen side is the only possibility and therefore I have to take this knight with queen because if I take with pawn, this pawn a3 will be a weakness. So queen c3, castle, bishop a3, b8, castle, bishop c7, rook e1, 
it's always good to have uh, your rook on the same file as opponent queen f6 and now all my pieces are on the good squares and there is no uh, time to wait for opponent also to consolidate their pieces it's time for some action so d5 c d5 d5 of course it's not possible to take uh, with this pawn because bishop a7 okay so e5 is the only move okay now king b1 it's never good to have uh, king queen and king on the same file especially if this file is open bishop d6 f4 rook c8 yeah just to prevent this this move queen b3 knight c5 now it's possible to take uh, this knight with bishop rook c5 f take e5 f take e5 and after knight d2 and in the next move knight e4 white is probably better but it's positional game so uh, i decided to to keep uh, the pressure and uh, play queen b5 rook d8 and now we have key moment of this game annotation is off so you can treat it as a puzzle white smooth and how to win i will wait some seconds but of course you can also pause the video to think longer okay let's reload the game the answer is rook c1 i can mark this move as excellent i know it's not easy to find let's check what's going on in the beginning it looks like a big blunder because after knight d3 we have classical fork so one of the rook is captured but that's the plan and before that let's check another options so if black plays any move like for example f takes g5 we can take the bishop queen d6 and rook c5 we are winning because we are bishop more other possibility a6 we can play queen b6 and this knight cannot move because we can play queen a7 probably with checkmate and if black withdraw this knight to d7 we can play knight a5 and there are two trees queen b7 queen b7 checkmate and knight c6 also winning so i think knight d3 d3 is the only continuation i played knight takes d6 and now if queen d6 just simply we can take this knight we are winning so the only move is probably rook c1 here rook c1 of course if we take this rook with knight knight c8 uh, this street rook c8 rook c1 also we have bishop more and we are winning so as I said, rook c1, rook c1 is the only continuity. Rook c1, knight c1, and now knight f5. And once again, you can treat it as a chess puzzle and try to calculate all these lines. 
and there are many of them like starting with queen c7 or queen f8, queen e8, queen d7, queen c7 and even a6. So a lot of things to calculate. Okay, of course uh, you can stop the video. So some more seconds. Okay, and let's back to the game. After I found this rook c1 idea, the first line I, I calculated was this with queen f7. This move uh, looks obvious because this pawn can be captured with queen, with rook and queen. Also, in the next move, black can play queen, queen g6 and this knight can't move. So, for example, after bishop c1 in g6 to protect here, to protect the knight, f takes g5, f takes g5, rook f8, and black is probably much better. Instead of bishop, we can uh, take this knight with king. But here there is f takes g5 and knight is attacked. So this move looks quite good, but there is some nice tactics here. Bishop a7. Of course, it's not possible. Check, check. White is winning. Other possibility. King c8. Simple. King takes knight, and after rook d5, and fork. Okay. So, king a8 is forced, and now in the beginning I thought that probably queen a5 is winning, but it's not so simple, simple after queen e5, check, check, and king c7, of course, after king c8, fork, but after king c7, bishop b6, maybe, maybe, king c6, it's not so simple, uh, it needs to calculate more, but here, there's another nice move, bishop b6. And now, after takes d5, there is quick win, and we are winning queen. Another line, is bishop b6. Rook d5, I, I like this line because there are some new tactics. Check. Okay, and now after king e8, there is checkmate. And after king e6, we are winning the, this queen. Let's follow queen's moves counterclockwise. So now we will check queen f8. This move is quite tr tricky because, for example, after bishop c1, still there is time threat. And, and now we cannot take this pawn. This tactics doesn't work. And now this rook is protected. Okay, so we have to think about something else. And I found bishop c5 attacking the queen, queen g8, knight e7. With the treat, knight c6 and fork. So black has to check. Marking, but after g6 is simple win. Queen e8 
looks simple because we can just exchange queens, take the pawn, after rook g8, take another pawn, and after knight d3, another, another pawn, and black cannot take on e5 because of bishop e4, and we are winning with the, the I like queen c7 because simple trap is set after bishop takes knight rook c8 and now we are we have to escape with this bishop or e3 but here is the check and probably black is better so after queen c7 d6 Queen c8 and now knight e7. It's not possible to go here or here because knight c6. So the only move is queen d7, queen a5. I didn't calculate everything here, but I think after a6. Queen b6, it's not possible to take because knight c6, queen c6, queen d8, and in the next move we are bishop, we have bishop more. So instead of a6, but here another sacrifice once again. King a8, knight c6 with the treat to give checkmate. So black have to go to f5, king a1, once again check to not be checkmated, queen b3, rook c8, queen b6, and Probably, I'm not really sure white is winning. There is also other option than escaping with queen a6. And now let's exchange queens. King c1, rook b7, knight f5. And it leads to the Sim very similar position are uh, as during the game. During the game, queen d7 was played. Personally, I think it's the best move in this position. I'm for forced to exchange queens. King take takes knight. And once again, we have position with many interesting lines and a lot of tactics. Let's start from f takes g5. Of course, now it's better for white to take e5 pawn. And after this g6, e6, rook 7 king b1, take d6. And the only question is which pawn would be promoted first. So instead of g6 black should take this pawn but now we have bishop g5 and it's not possible for rook to take if e5 pawn because of bishop e4 winning the line i calculated was rook c7 check king d1 king c8 just to go there to protect this pawn but we have d6 rook d7 and g6 to fix the position after king d8 takes takes and bishop h6 is winning because after takes bishop g7 and pawn will be promoted probably the best attempt to complicate the game is king c7 
now after d6, king c6, takes, takes, g6, king d5, bishop h6, here white is winning, even queen, and fork, but instead of taking bishop, king e6, knight g7, king f6, capturing pawn in the next move, and really it's not easy for white to win this game. So I think d6 is a blunder. Maybe, maybe instead of uh, f take if e5, white can try bishop a7. But here there is also a g6, and uh, this game is com quite complicated. So so we should try to find something easier. And yes, that's such move g6 just to fix this position after any move for black king c2 then our plan is to go there and if we if black plays king d8 just to go to this pawn then d6 after e4 to protect F, f takes e5, king c4, and king walks slowly to e6, and then this position will be winning. g6 was played during the game. My advanced pawns are very strong, so I can sacrifice this knight. g take e6, g take e5, rook d5 f7 or for knight e7 also lose so g takes e5 is the only move and after f takes e5 my opponent resigned here there are two lines i like both of them the first is rook f7 e6 e7 and rook cannot capture this pawn and the second line my favorite is king c8 e6 rook c7 king b1 king d8 f7 check with fork king f8 and bishop h6 checkmate just to prove that chess is not only the game, but also an art. After a game, it's time for practice, so let's solve some puzzles. After setting every new puzzle, I will be waiting some seconds to give you a time for pausing the video. In Chesscom graphical user interface, you can even create such puzzle from your own game and put it on your blog to share with other chess players. So, why to move? How to win? Good. Knight takes e7. Bishop to g5. And we want to checkmate. Still. Okay, the treat is the same to go h6, hg7. Now we can take this rook, but there is no rush. Rook c1, bishop, knight c5, bishop c8, bishop takes this rook, and queen d5, puzzle is solved. Black cannot take with this pawn because checkmate with rook on e8. Here I was playing white, just terrible with many blunders. Black to move, how to win?
Good. Rook takes knight on f4. I totally missed it during the game. G takes e4. During the, in the game, I takes with bishop, but now if queen takes h4, still black want to give checkmate. Check queen take bishop on h3 while black is winning. And you see, uh, also creating such puzzle, you can add your own comments. So during the game, it was bishop h takes f4, check here, h6, and d4. I wanted to exchange queen, queen h7. I take the pawn. This position is totally total losing for me. I should lose, but fortunately, my opponent decided for some more tactics and played bishop g5. And it gives us another new puzzle. Here I will show you how I save this game. After bishop g5, you take this bishop, queen c7, and now there is a check, fortunately. In the beginning, I thought uh, that soon I would have to give up. After knight c7 exchange, I had this queen d8 move. And probably this move was missed. Queen h4 protecting checkmate. Black had to has to exchange queens. Rook h4. My king is escaping. Check. E5, like this, or this square, and perpetual check with draw. These are all the games I played in the third round of Chesscom Daily Chess Championship that I wanted to present to you. Now I'm waiting for the final round. Hope you enjoyed this movie and managed to solve all or at least some of the puzzles. Goodbye.